Hey guys, Fifi Vic here with episode 13 of my Road to Commander Call of Duty Ghosts uh, series. Uh, in this episode, I am playing a free for all again and uh, rocking a <laughs> honey badger uh, with the Christmas camo on of it. Um, basically, guys, if you're not following COD too close at this time, um, they have uh, unla they've launched to the store loads of like Christmas based sort of additional bonusy type things. Flash myself here, epic fail, and then there's a guy just waiting for me, which is quite frustrating. Um, but yes, uh, so you can have like um, a Christmas camo on your guns. Um, I think you can turn uh, your uh, attack dog into like a Christmassy werewolf type thing. I think. Um, yeah, so there's things in the store that you can buy that are Christmas related, and there's a couple of free ones. So I've got the free Christmas camo on my gun. I'm sure most of you already knew that, but um, not. it's worth telling you, you know, check it out whilst you can, you know, and all that stuff. Um, so yeah, so I've got my honey badger out and I'm running around this map. Uh, not a map I'm super good at. I haven't really got a routine with it, a pattern, any areas that I like to hold down or anything like that. I don't like the way people camp so much on this map. There's always someone hiding. Um, and I guess that comes from the frustration of them not really understanding the map either, I guess. Um, and I think I managed to actually get the flashbang through there, but what's the point, huh? And then there's a guy spawns right next to me. Epic fails. Uh, but I think I turn it around. Um, I'm, at, I'm on five and ten, 4 and 10 now, 5 and 10 in this gameplay. Um, and I turn it around, guys. So... Keep watching. Um, on my main channel, um, it'd be interesting to know, like, put in the comments, do you own, if, is there anyone watching this that only watches this channel and not my main channel? That'd be really interesting to know if that was the case. And if you do, it's fine. You know, it's cool. That's right. Okay, whatever. Um, but that'd be really interesting to know if there is anyone in that situation. But I'm assuming for the vast majority that uh, you all watch my main channel as well as my second channel. And if that is the case, you will know that uh, we are in uh, murky waters on my main channel, um, considering whether to finish um, Javi on Robin or not. Uh, I did a, the previous video, it was like, oh, should I finish it? And I was sort of asking all you guys in that, and that was the sort of the theme of that video. Um, when's the natural ending point for this, should I finish it? And all that sort of stuff. And uh, a lot of people were quite supportive, and a lot of people were happy to see whatever I came up with, and all that stuff. But I have now decided exclusively <laughs> to the second channel, guys. I can tell you that I have now decided I am going to finish Javi on Robin very soon indeed. And I have two shows, uh, show ideas that I'm wanting to do um, alternate days. Um, so, like, ev ev I'm going back to daily uploads on the main channel, and then... But every other day is the other series. So two series, alternate videos, daily content. Uh, that's the thinking. Um, hopefully both are popular. But I don't know, you know, uh, one of the things that I talked about in that video um, was... I'm just worried that starting a new series and people see its current gen, people are just going to go ape shit and just absolutely rage quit on me. Um, which is a worry, a slight worry. Um... So yeah, two new series, hopefully one of them shines, and the other one shines as well, but if not, if one of them shines, you know, I can focus on that a bit more or something, and then get the next gen eventually as well, end of Jan, I think, uh, get the next gen, and rock it from that point, you know, I'll get my big, big series up, I'll get a deal or no deal, or something like that up, one of my big stuff. Um, so, yeah, so, that was what I was going to talk about, I mean, I might as well give you my uh, my plan, I don't know, should I give you my plan for the shows, no, I better keep it under my under my belt, uh, the two shows that I'm going to be doing, um, obviously, you know, one of them's a manager mode, um, that, and that's really tricky in itself, I'm going to spend a real long time researching what team to do, but I also want to do it with a bit of cash, because if you go into a manager job somewhere and you've got no money to spend what's the point you know it isn't a case of philosophies and stuff because you're only just going to see my goal highlights in the video i need to be able to do some wheeling dealing really so that's what i'm thinking there so i want i'm thinking about yeah bitch take a knife um i'm thinking about how i should deal with the money situation but also i need to 
really, really research what club I want to do as well. And once I've picked a club, I need to research it heavily as well, because as you remember, I really messed up the Wolves one. Was it the Wolves manager mode I did? By um, selling uh, one of Wolves' fan base's favourite players. So I don't want to make any mistakes like that um, this time as well. And I'm not going to do this, but it'd be amazing if someone did a realistic manager mode. You know, like, uh, in real life, Mourinho signed Etu, And whether that was the right decision or not, that, that that proves in real life that managers don't just buy young talent. Um, <laughs> but on FIFA, if you do a manager mode on YouTube on FIFA, people go ape shit if you buy any old players or anyone who's in the decline. Even though it'd be more realistic to do that, people are like, this is... This is nonsense. What are you doing? Uh, and it's yeah. People just want to see like the young talent come through, and they want to, uh, yeah, all that sort of stuff. But but I think it'd be really cool if someone just did a manager mode where they signed a few old boys and like won the league because they had the experience and the talent of the old guys because they were cheap and got some guys on loan. No one gets anyone on loan <laughs> in manager modes because it's a waste of money in a way. You're st improving someone else's talent and all that stuff. So all that stuff's really funny. Um, but I'm not going to do anything like that. I'm going to try and keep it so that it is popular. Um, my other series, um, I can give you a little sneaky taste. Um, my other series will be Ultimate Team. I want to keep an Ultimate Team facet going. I've got loads of coins off the back of Xavi on Robin. Yeah, you hide in that corner again, you smeg. Um, but yeah, uh, I've got um, I've got quite a lot of coins now after Xavi on Robin has finished, and um, so. I'm going to do um, a series that focuses on having loads of coins to waste. Uh, and I've, it's probably going to be a se it's gonna be based on a series you've already seen on my channel. That's all I'll say about that. Um, yeah, that's all I'll say about that. Until later. In this series though, guys, I've got some good videos coming up. I've got some good gameplays coming up as well. I'm starting to get better at the game. I don't know if you can tell, but I feel like I am anyway. Um, I, I think I pulled it back quite well from a 510 to where I was at. Um, but yeah, so uh, yeah, I'm going to do my favourite TV show, I've already done that. Uh, I'm going to do some movies and some sports gossip and talking about me a bit more and stuff in this stuff. I've been FIFA Bit, bye!